Hey, it's like been a while, hasn't it? Um, so, YouTube. What's really been going on? Because I, I haven't had time to really do much of anything. I mean, I kind of keep up on my Doom videos, but I don't really make videos like I used to. Like they're going out of style because just haven't had the time. Um, I thought I would like move this, catch up with you guys because, well, that's that's what we do. Um, currently in school for cosmetology. It's fun. Tiring, but fun. I work at Dunkin' Donuts now. I'm not allowed to say that I work there. I work at Dunkin' Donuts. Who's gonna care? I work at Dunkin' Donuts. It's fun. I like the people I work with. It's good. I got out of that warehouse job because, oh, it was grinding on my ears. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here to talk about stupid shit. I'm here to talk about stupid shit. So Skyrim, very addicted. Um, well, let's, let me tell you about my travels, my journeys, my endeavors, and my phone is dying. So, Skyrim, PS3, my sound wave, yes, my sound wave. Well, I'm a Nord. I'm a hot Nord. Uh, I'm blonde. I have my red war paint. Hold on. <laughs> Good night, bitch tits. Hee 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 hee. Ah, uh, friends from school. Okay, anyway. So I'm a Nord. Blonde hair. You know, I got like my dread curl braid thing here. Scar. Red war paint. Red lipstick. Her eyes look clear. Like, they're like as light as you can go because she just looks so fucking hot. Ugh, and her name is Eve. I don't even love that. I think I'm a lesbian. I mean, chicks are hot, but I like the dick. Ugh. Now they have toys for that now, so totally find a hot chick that's into that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Anyway. Um, wow. Anyway, about Skyrim. I love it. Um, I love the graphics. Storyline is... I'm still getting used to it. Right now I'm just doing... I'm just exploring everything. I'm exploring the whole entire map. Because that's what I do. I will explore anything before I do missions. And I've been doing some side missions and shit, and it's... Um, the negatives? I have some negatives on this game. I, uh, don't really appreciate the, uh, over-encumberment when you carry too much. I'm used to carrying everything in games and selling them and using them and all kinds of stuff like that. This game, you, if you meet, meet your maximum weight... You can't fast travel, you can't run, you can barely fight off anything, which is another down thing that I do not like about Skyrim. Everywhere you go, something wants to kill you. I'm walking along, I'm a farmer. Let's say I'm a farmer. I'm picking my cabbage. I love cabbage. Cabbage is great! Fucking bear. Yeah, fucking, fucking bear. I'm walking along, you know, just... I feel like I'm gonna go for a stroll today in the woods. Fucking bandits. Bandits are everywhere. You're, uh, you're just, uh, exploring some ancient ruins and such. Assassins. Assassins come out of anywhere and just be like, hi! And I'm all like, come on, I got a warhammer. I don't got time for this shit. So, um, another thing, uh, let's see, we got, um, bears. Bandits, assassins, saber tooth tigers. I got attacked by an elk yesterday. I didn't know that was possible. Yeah. It said that there was like a little red skull, that there was something on my compass that wanted to kill me. And I was like, okay, where's this mofo? I want to see it. 
some I was dragon dragon hunting. There was a dragon, flew away, trying to find it. Thought I found it. It was an elk. That thing ran so fast at me. I I have no words. An elk attack? Anyway. Wolves are the worst. I fucking hate wolves. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, like, the only thing that I really don't like about the game, but it's not like it's gonna make me stop playing. Um, some random things, like, this game can glitch. Things can be inside of a house. I, I can't remember if it was me or Chris that killed something in the, like, just died into the wall, and, like, her hand was, like, sticking out, and I was like, ugh. Get that shit checked out. And then, um, some things can run in the water, like this goat was, uh, underwater, and I was, like, swimming and trying to follow, and it was just like, a, I'm a goat underwater, and I'm like, go on crack. <laughs> mm, yeah, making that face. Let's see, what else is glitchy about it? Oh, oh my god, I wish I recorded it, because... I was so scared. Like, some games, like, really scare me, but this isn't really, like, a scary game. But I was, oh, I was so freaked out. Okay, so, Thalmor Embassy. Hold on. <laughs> I get the magical book that Chris lent me, so I can tell you the mission. And don't do what I did, because, oof, it was bad. Fuck, where is it? It's, like, page 188 class if you have your textbook. Alright, the mission is, let me, table of contents, this motherfucker. Okay. The, oh, come on. Diplomatic immunity, I think. 131. And it was, like, the weirdest shit, and I didn't mean to do it, because I thought he was going to turn on me, so I ended up killing a prisoner who was just going to tell me information about shit I already knew, so it's not like it really mattered. But, he fucking spazzed the fuck out. Like, literally. Okay. It's going to be hard to mimic, because I'm fat, and I can't move like a skinny, bony prisoner that's been chained up for, like, a year. But, and he, like, slammed his head into the ground, so I'm not doing that either. But he literally, his body, folded in half, and did this, like, several times, but he was going, like, Bleh! like, Bleh! like, having a seizure. And he did it for ten minutes because I timed it. I didn't record it, but I timed it. And I was, like, watching like this. <sighs> like... I was really fucking freaked out. And so, after being freaked out about that, I'm looking for my cage door to try and get out of the Thalmor Embassy. So I'm looking out, and I'm just like, okay, where the fuck is... And out of nowhere, I didn't hear anything. Out of nowhere, these guards come out, and they're all like, I'm gonna stab you in the face, and I'm like, ah! I literally screamed. Like, I got yelled at by my parents, because I screamed. It was fucking scary, bro. Shit sneaks up on me. It scared me. Ugh. Oh getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it again. It was horrible. Horrible. And that's not, like, the first glitch. Like, excuse me while I be rude and pull up my boss chat. Um, the other glitch is... <sighs> fucking weird. Like, I did a... Did a, um, a shout on a corker. Because it was just there, and I don't like killing the animals, like, I will not kill animals, I'm, like, a strict vegan on Skyrim, unless it's been dead, like a horker, I'll take its food and just be like, that's mine, I'll take its meat, that's it, I'll take its meat, anyway, I'm, like, a vegan, I won't kill anything, but I just felt like taking out a horker, man, 
I mean, I felt bad when I had to kill a mammoth for a tusk for that bitch that was all like, I'll teach you all kinds of bribing and trading and shit. I was like, bitch, please. I am Caitlyn. I am Zambi. I can do what I want. So, yep, right now I'm a Nord. Sexy Nord. I think I'm a lesbian. I dream about women and their breasts. No, I don't. I will soon. My sister's yelling at me. I should stick a dragon on her. Okay, anyway. About Skyrim, that's pretty much been it. It's been consuming my life after I get home from school. Not right after, you know. Fatty's gotta eat, take a shower, and then I play Skyrim. It's about 10.30, and it's like 10.19 now. But yeah, I, I have a great effing time with Skyrim. Because I like dragons. I like exploring. The game is basically infinite, except for yesterday. Like, last night, I was playing, and I was... I don't know if I discovered the edge of the map of Skyrim, but it didn't take me anywhere else. And I don't know if I wasn't allowed to be there, or if just the game was like, Hey, you've definitely explored a lot of shit. Where you, you gotta back off, bro. I have no idea, but... Yeah, that was, that was my day. So, oh, my ankle itches. Okay, so, Skyrim. Yeah. 11 minutes on bullshit. I'm sorry I wasted your time. But, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I, I like Skyrim a lot. It's definitely that game that consumes your life. Like, every time I go to Chris's place, you want to watch me play Skyrim? You want to get fuck off? Yeah, that's basically it. See, Skyrim's fun to play, but once you start watching other people play, it's like, give up. It's like, the worst thing to watch, because it's fun, and you want to play. You want to just, like, kill everything, and then explore and stuff. Yeah, and I'm trying to be an alchemist, but I'm nervous. I don't want to poison anything. Oh, and I married a woman. See, there's that lesbianic thing. I married a woman. She's not hot, though. She, she, I don't know what her deal is. I should dump her ass for not being hot. Just be like a typical... Whatever. Yeah, okay. I'm done. Bye. Thank you for listening to my bitching about Skyrims and stuff. Yeah, so that's about it. Bye.